Hello everybody, welcome to Ooh, this is game number eight. I didn't even realise. I thought it was four one one. Is it is it five one one? Is this right? Yeah, it is five one one. Right, we've got a Pommer and some guard and twelve men's. And he's got a tackler and some frenzy and some block and some fend. He's two zero four. That's it's it's one of the worst, isn't it? It's one of the worst. Um because they're frenzy. They've obviously got a lot of block, which is good. And then their frenzy means that uh, they've got extra block. So it's not poor, frenzy's poor man tackle, isn't it? So they've got some poor man's tackle. Lucky for me that he's taken fend or daunts or whatever the fuck he's taken on his line or rather than tackle, because normally he'd have taken more tackle. And like, at least dwarves are slow. Chorfs are probably the worst matchup. Chorfs, then dwarves, then Norse, I guess. That's going to kick. Try to win. Maybe I should have received. I guess. I guess I should have received and tried to hurt him because he's only on a seven, isn't he? Might have just won. And I guess I should have kicked. I should have received, I guess. Oh, well. I don't really want to draw. I want to try and win. He's got Dauntless, hasn't he? He's got two Dauntless. Oh, they're runners. Oh, okay, fair enough then. They're not skill ups. <laughs> Thought they were skilled up Linos with Dauntless, but they're not. Yeah, kicking against AV7 stupid. I'm, I'm, as I say, you know, I'm still. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking still in the other. My head's still in the fucking last game. I should have absolutely received, shouldn't I? Should have absolutely received against Armour 7 and beaten them up. Yeah, that's a good point, Adon. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> Don't rely on actually breaking anybody's AV ever. I should have received that, shouldn't I? No, I chose to defend, yeah, because I thought, I want to try and win, and I thought kicking gives me the best chance to win, because I'll know if I'll have to score early on offence second half. That was the idea. But maybe I should have just received and tried to, like, uh, 
to try to hurt some players and get him to concede. I don't know. I don't know. No rerolls. All right. It's a mean team. I definitely should have received them, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should have received. Well, it's not control, it's just that if, if you try to score, you know, if, if I've turned him over and it's 1 0, then. Which could be happening now. If it, if it, you know, then I know that I'm. What am I trying to fucking say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Then, I, then I'll know that I can score at any point because offense could be tricky, couldn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Three, four, five, six. Two D here. Oh wait, Incestor Size, what are you talking about now? Are you talking about this game or are you talking about the Chaos game? With it, with the, in the Chaos game, I chose to uh, I chose to kick because he had a wizard. That was the Chaos match, I chose to kick because he had a wizard. And, you know, the thing is, I wanted to, the, I wasn't going to beat, I wasn't going to win the game on Kai's in the first half. Uh, because he's got regen on, on all of his players. And he's got 14 as well. So there's no way I was going to win the match on Kaz um, in the first half. So once once that wasn't a possibility to win the, win the game in the first half with Kaz, then, you know, but there is a chance that I maybe take out a wolf or a ghoul or whatever. Um, and if I take out a wolf or a ghoul or whatever... Then um, it makes his wizard not so good, doesn't it? So the idea was um, take out a positional or two or whatever, and then um, and then win in overtime. <laughs> He's got a frenzy, hasn't he? He might go for the serve. He's got tackle though. He's gone for the serve. I didn't even think he'd go for it. This puts his ball under a serious threat, doesn't it? Ah oh, well, he hasn't got it. He hasn't got it. Hello, Necro Impotence. Um, it's going okay. Both. It was. It was both really incestor side. It was pretty much both, honestly. Um, it was pretty much both. It was the combination of the two. If if he had like, if he had, it was a frenzy in one day, yeah, but he's trying to surf, wasn't he? Um, it was a combination of the both. That that was the thing. If he just had like, if he had, let's say, you know, an, 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 a twelve man chaos team, then I would have I would have received into the wizard because I wouldn't have cared because I would have I would have tried to win the game in the first turn <laughs> with four removals. <laughs> you know? um, but yeah, that was that was it. It was, it was the fact that it was. Uh, it was both. If he if he didn't have a wizard, then I might have still re I might have received if he didn't have a wizard. But the fact that he had both, that was it. It's working for him as well, isn't it? He's got two KOs so far. Don't bother about the ball, buddy. It's just an afterthought.
One, two, I could pick it up, couldn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm just going to get fucked, though. Lost too many players already. Guard could go in there. And 2D him and 2D him. Blitz needs to come in here, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I can't go for the ball. KO, good. Get space done. This Palmer has been absolute garbage. Nah, we don't. I've got quite a few players without block, haven't I? And if he scores, I want to be able to score back. If he had armor seven or a niggle, I guess maybe. But with just pom, it's not so exciting, is it? If he had the ball, I guess I would have done. Come on, wild animal! He doesn't even have claw. What a terrible, terrible blitz! Absolutely terrible, wasn't it? That, that was pure stinking garbage. <laughs> Absolutely awful. Zero out of ten for that play. Indeed, Wolf Park, yep. Well, that was disappointing, wasn't it? Double GFI, but she didn't get punched. Double GFI that way. One GFI here. doesn't stand a chance. I mean, it does stand a chance, but obviously it's tough, isn't it, if Clawpom doesn't fire. But, I mean, you're not missing that many skills, um, if you think about it. I mean, it's tough, obviously, but, like, Clawpom is what? Claw Mighty Blow Banning on. So that's six skills. If my Clawpom doesn't fire, then that's six skills that I've wasted, which is 120 TV. But it's not that bad, is it? 
just like a wizard not working. Um, but yeah, it's obviously really tough because the other teams have got guard and everything. But the thing, the th that's the thing, is Nurgle off shit if it doesn't fire because Nurgle are a team of movement four and five with agility two and stuff. Whereas, uh, so so Nurgle are really horrible without the removals. Um, whereas Chaos at least have, you know, blanket edge three and decently fast. So they can do something. Didn't even blitz with it yet, with the Ulf even. What? I don't know, I don't understand. Why he's not blitzing with the elf? There you go. Yeah, it's, I mean, of course it's easier with removals than that. Of course, it's of course you'd rather have removals, but it's uh, it's not good. It's obviously not not good to not get removals. I mean, yeah, exactly. What fuck? Yeah, exactly. It's it's not good, is it? It's not good. But on the other hand, you can still win. It doesn't mean you ought or lose, but also, it's not good. Wow. So he could have just two D'd, but he won D's instead. Ah, uh, because he got tackle! All right then, I'll let him off. I'll let him off, that wasn't terrible. But it literally could have been an assist, so it was pretty terrible. Let's this one stand up, which is nice, isn't it? Yeah, tackle's better because tackle's thirty-three percent, and uh, the uh, the other one's thirty percent, isn't it? This is kind of irrelevant, really. I'll do it anyway because I'm sterile and I like the taste. <laughs> Right, so we've got a blitz. Oh god, I've got to do two dodges. I knew the dodge had failed, that's why I did that first. But Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hate no rerolls, yeah. I hate them. Even, even Woody's, which is the best one, because you've got block and strength six and dodge. <laughs> so, like, Woody's really do get rerolls for everything anyway, don't they? So, like, as much as they can. They've got pass, they've got catch. They've got so many rerolls built into them um, and block to blitz with every turn that they're the only team that can really pull it off. Not that I think they need to or should. But at least they can pull it off. <laughs> he loves blitzing with a yay, doesn't he? Oh. He does love his yeti blitz. Yeah, and ogres, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah ogres, ogres need, need the sixth ogre. 100%. 100% Ogres need the 6th Ogre. I, c I couldn't believe Rick Reckless taken, taken 5 and 2 rerolls last night. Yeah, I hate no reroll elves, but at least at least they've got everything they need, don't they? That's the thing. Outstanding. Regardless of what, uh, regardless of what, 
Kanor and his chat thing. The tree is amazing. <laughs> He's going to foul here, isn't he? This edge four. Garda is... He's pretty exposed to a foul. I can't imagine him not fouling. I think he'll be one of those one of those chaps. He'll definitely foul. Yes, it does wolf back, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Hmm. She can just go around there and then I can dodge to punch him. That seems pretty good, doesn't it? Huh. Colour me fucking surprised. What's that? 3 plus 4 plus with a reroll. This seems better, doesn't it? Dodge gone, double GFI. Has he got dump off? I didn't even know what that skill was. Oh shit. Should have stood him up first. Outrageous. Outrageous. I can't believe it. I've been done. I've been... Oh, God. I've been done by dumb off. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> as if he did it as well. Oh, fuck's sake. It looks like it, Ardvac, yeah. It does look like it. I shouldn't have fucking kicked. I don't know why I kicked. I should have received. You gotta be a sub in Aryan. You gotta be a sub. To stop. To stop spamming. Twenty one percent coach. 
Looks like he's going to beat me. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to Skuro. Absolutely not. In fact, in fact, you definitely can. I mean, I know you can, but you definitely can because there was a discussion. Yeah, <laughs> if not with this coach, um, there'd be a chance, and I tell you, I, you know, I'll tell you what why I know that you can because on Fumble they said um, they were like the most number of ones you could roll or something. And you could do, <laughs> you know, the most amount of ones you could turn over or something, or ones you could do without turning over, or some something about rolling ones. And uh, basically it was infinite because of dump offs and stuff. I don't know. Concedes again. Yeah, I should have received to get the concede, shouldn't I? I should have received to get the concede. That was, that was fucking stupid. I should have absolutely. I should have absolutely received against this guy. Hundred percent. But um, yeah, I'm just getting fucked instead. Super. DJ High Tech will fuck you in the ass. He's got tack. Can't chain because I need to fill in that square, which I can't do. Need to run back a bit. Right, there's nothing but nothing for it but the old one D. Hey. Still got the reroll, so I could do a 4 plus 3 plus to get there. Let's dodge him out first. Scoring threat and all that. Just gone. <laughs> yeah, kicking because people concede if they lose their drive, yeah. Oh shit, GFI. Hey! <laughs> In a stunt. <laughs> Glorious. Oh, God. Right, good. Get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Pretty glorious there, isn't it, boyo? Pretty glorious. 
pretty glorious that. Oh, I can punch him. Let's punch him then. Let's get a fucking nothing. That's what we need. This has gone quite well, hasn't it, for how bad it was? For how bad it was going on turn six, this has been quite the fucking turnaround, hasn't it? Outrageous. It's just so that you know it's uh, Welsh rather than Pakistani humorous chimp. <laughs> that's how that's how you know. That's how you know what it is. You can't counter for frenzy and samba, unfortunately, necropotence. Yeah, four plus three plus one D pal, exactly. A bit like the Berserk game where he rolled some dice, didn't he? But then I rolled some more dice. So that was good. But even even on the website it doesn't factor in frenzy. I guess there will be little birds. Be horrible, won't it? I mean, it is fucking scary if they do go to war. To be fair, rather than all memes aside, it'd be pretty fucking bad, wouldn't it? Indeed, screw. I mean, that's the thing. You know, I mean, that is exactly the thing, isn't it? I uh, in that game. Berserk rolled those dice, and he had a 33% chance to, to knock me over, whereas if I just geified twice, I would have been, I'd have been about 5 or 6% to fail, wouldn't I, in both? But that would have been better than 33%, so yeah. Sometimes, you should roll some dice. Oh, I shouldn't have followed. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Oh. No, I think it doesn't matter. Oh. Because I wouldn't have got the assist in. So whatever happened, I was going to have to do a GFI. Couldn't have got the assist in if I didn't do that. I guess a dodge through the tackle zone would have been better, wouldn't it? If I'd powered him, a dodge through the tackle zone would have been better than a GFI, but it was all right. The shorts are currently top of the top of the ladder, Machina, and I will I will not be playing them again, probably. Hopefully, hopefully I won't be playing them again because they'll be top. You know, they'll qualify. <laughs> yeah, it's true, Skrull. I'll have to spend half an hour looking at the ladder every every stream now in the future. Yeah, the season where there's no money on the line, exactly. Yeah, I literally said, didn't I? I was taking, took off the last five days that would be fresh for this season, which is what I did, and I was fresh, which is why I put the games in, but I would have much preferred to have put in the 40 games at the end of last season and qualified for the money season than put them in on, at the start of the non the non-money season, but... Yeah, they're all right. They should qualify, even as, even if it's a wild card. They should qualify. Twenty-seven four four is pretty good, isn't it? Pretty good.
Wow, he just put the tackle ready to get smashed. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's more Adamus's fault, isn't it? He was, uh, he was the one that was most uh, for the what's it called, the two minute turns. I wasn't that bothered. I really wasn't that bothered because I thought it's just not going to matter, you know. Um, but actually, it turns out it does matter because uh, it's brilliant having two minute turns. You, be, you can't factor, you can't factor it in. Because of the reroll. That's the thing. Yeah, that's true, like, that's true. Oh god, he got perfect. He fucking, he suckered me in by doing the worst LOS possible. <laughs> and then getting perfect defense. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. All three KO rolls failed. Worst possible LOS setup gets perfect defense. Fuck's sake. Still leaves this guy piling on a book. Good for him. Good. God, this is just rough as fuck, isn't it? I gotta just go back to protect the ball, I guess. Dice rolls, Jim. I guess, I guess, uh, fucking Zons have got to be one of the better teams to to have this happen to them. Seeing as they can make a bunch of dodges. Shit, he's got claw as well, so I'll be armor seven. Fuck. Claw got me. God, I'm gonna lose this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wanted to get the push so at least he'd waste his blitz with his yay. <laughs> oh shit. I didn't do it with a yeti! And he would have he would have turned over. <laughs> oh shit. Already a 4D one, a 4D or a 6D is with frenzy. Is, is that is that a thing? It's not an option on the actual website. 
The thing is, though, it's it, it, you can't really do turns when frenzy in, involved, can you? Because sometimes a push is all right, and then you can't you can't put it in if you you can't you can't always do it. Uh, that, that, the thing is, you can't always do it because um, sometimes it's different. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because like sometimes you'll you'll do the block, and then if it if it's a power, you'll do this, and if it's a push, you'll do this. I guess that doesn't matter if it wasn't frenzy anyway. But sometimes a frenzy, a double push could work, whereas only a power would have worked on a one dicer. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know. I'm armory. God, this is rough, isn't it? How many players? Five? Six? Six, including the prone one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Don. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And that's it. I knew there was something. Right. Jesus Christ. This is... Uh this is absolute garbage, isn't it? There's going to be more dice rolls. <laughs> Could put the ball there and then dodge out and protect it. So I thought it was better to do the dodge first, because at least I've still got the ball here, whereas if I moved up there, it'd be a bit shit, wouldn't it? I don't know, fuck it, don't care anyway. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So you've got to calculate the one in nine, haven't you? So it's not good enough. Not good enough! I knew there was a reason. I was trying to work it out. It was hard. It was hard. Oh, it powers me with Dodger. Dice gonna dice, innit? This is fucking rough. Fucking rough. Five KOs. At least he let me hit his tackler on the first turn. So there's still going to be some kind of a chance. Six probes, yeah. If only. Right, no AV break, so we can screen her off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dodge her through there. Dodge her and dodge and GFI with her. Fucking hell. And then underscoring threat. Brilliant. This is this is easy. This is fucking easy.
I'm not going to bother with the canoring threat, actually. Easy as you fucking like. Piece of piss, this game. Easy, easy, easy. Chuckles. <sighs> Drop the chuckles on him. <laughs> 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 fucking Edge 4 is outrageous, isn't it, to be fair? Is it is it all oh, start with it? Fucking hell. Outrageous. Outrageous dice rolls. <laughs> Good for me. Thank you, Machina. I know you mean Surely good for you. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I know you mean good for you. <laughs> you couldn't possibly mean go fuck yourself. You must mean good for you. Survived. Good for Yimmy. <laughs> oh, he gets the pow, shit. I stood her up only to attempt an early Yeti block, but he did not he did not fall for that. <laughs> I thought there was every chance that he would. Ah, thank you, Volpies. Yeah, the second half, maybe I took my eye off the ball with it being so so dominant. But it was tough because, he, you know, I just had the turns of not knocking anybody over. That was the problem in the second half. Those turns of just nobody going down made, made it pretty fucking difficult, to be fair. Oh, shit. Double GFI there afterwards. All right. Shoot the door. It was tough. I, I, don't, I don't know, honestly. Maybe, maybe I could have done things better at the end. I'd have to watch it in a replay analysis kind of way. But um, it was tough. It was tough because I just didn't get the knockdown, did I, for like a couple of turns in a row. There were no knockdown slash armor breaks when I did knock them down. So it made it pretty tricky because he had, he had a bunch of dodge. And I didn't have that much tackle that I could, you know. And even then, I didn't shut them down anyway, do you? Even if you stick tackle on them, it doesn't shut them down. So I guess I should have just GFI'd. So that his only play was the uphill. I guess I should have GFI'd. I, I, what I think was, I think the play was... Um, I think the play was... GFI twice, so that the fleshy couldn't have even based me, and uh, and then GFI with the tackler to kind of try to shut down the white. Um, but the thing is, then then you committed to using the reroll, which okay, I guess it's better than better than failing. Obviously, using a reroll is better than failing. Um, but. If he goes to try and stop me, then he uses a re-roll. And even if it works, I've still got a chance to score. 
and then a chance of overtime as well. So I don't know, overtime maybe made a difference. I don't know though. Probably should have gone for it. I mean, if you can make a 5% or 6% risk to save your opponent having a 33% chance, then it's better, isn't it? 6% to fail is better than 33% to lose the ball. So, I definitely shouldn't have done what I'd done. Not centralising at all? Yeah, maybe. But once I was central, I wanted to go the side that didn't have the wolf on, you know? Because these wolf could have just dodged out and stuff. I like I like I like the centralizing because it made a five plus dodge for that one. I think I went one square too far when I centralized. Um, I could have based the the I could have based the fleshy from the other side. I guess I should have I should have done something. I could have should have taken the fleshy out one way or the other. I like taking out the, the the wolf and the white out of the play completely by going the other way once I've gone back centre. I like going centre. I really like going centre. Um, yeah. And then obviously going left, that took out his fleshy as well, didn't it? Which is a, can be a pain in the ass. So I really like going central. Um... Oh, should have gone here, shouldn't I? Shit. Need a pal now. That was bad. Got it, lucky. I guess I just go there just so he can't do some bullshit surf. Surf a Rooney. I guess I'd rather be occupying there than here, so do this one first. Double GFI. I'll just go there. I've got to make one GFI. Might as well make two. It's hard to stop the uh, Yeti here, isn't it? I don't see what I can do. Stand there, so he's got to at least cancel it. Yeah, I guess. Really needed this one to go an extra square, didn't I? But I couldn't. Oh, here we go. Just herb derp the, uh, the Yeti. Oh. Jim Shaw. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think I think the absolute correct play, looking back, was when I went centre, I should have gone one square to the right. I think I think I was definitely right to that. I thought it was a great move. I don't know, but then I would give the fleshy the four plus one D there. I don't know. It was fucking hard, man. With, with just not knocking anybody down. Maybe I could have greeted re-rolled some point. Maybe I could have greeted re-rolled with somebody. But then what if I double skull? You know. So. I guess a greed reroll would have been in order somewhere and try to win in normal time, put all my eggs into scoring in normal time. But there was just too many fucking not like you know hitting the hitting the wolf twice and not uh, not doing anything to him was shit. Uh, that that one turn that I went back central, you know, on another day I could have just powered him and killed him and then it would have been all right, wouldn't it? Forced down the side there. But I think it was definitely good to go centre, but maybe one square to the right of where I went would have been better. Um, and then... But then he could have maybe pushed the the flesh golem onto me, I don't know, see, that's the thing. That would have been pretty bad if he could have pushed that fleshy onto me, so... I don't really know. I think maybe it was alright where I went in the end. 
<laughs> maybe I could have. Maybe I should have greeted though that turn when I was hitting the wolf and stuff. Maybe. Prepare for the Yeti Blitz. It's not in range, is it? No. But can get away from the Yeti. Oh, the Yeti's already based as well. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, you can't prevent it. That's the thing. It was too stretched, wasn't it? It was too stretched. I was, uh... The play was stretched. And, uh... I was down to nine players as well of my own, wasn't I? So... I like, <laughs> maybe I should, you know, I had, I had the fucking cage, didn't I, for a long time. And then, the turn that he, uh, he yell screened is when I went man's done him. But then once I was man's, he always had a chance of just dodging away and getting a hit. But then if I didn't man's, I, maybe I wouldn't have been able to push forward at all. You know? So, um, so it's hard to say, really, I think. He can blitz. Now he's going to be too far away. We go all the way over here. I hit to do the GFIs. See, that second GFI looks a bit dumb. But then on the other hand, next turn, if he does the 4 plus. Double GFI with his Yeti, that's going to be better odds, isn't it, than me failing a 1 in 36. So, but most people would probably uh, not have done the GFI. So, I, I don't know, I don't, I'm not beating myself up about it, but it is interesting to think what would, what would have been the right plays, isn't it? Right, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. It was hard for him to get blitzers in, wasn't it? It was hard for him to get blitzers in. And there was the threat of next turn I was going to base him to fuck. And he was going to struggle. He was. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, the Berserk, is my team was much better than his team, wasn't it? And even though he got some removals, he had the chance of it just getting... Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he, he waited one or two turns, but next turn he knew he knew next turn was going to be the bad turn for him. <laughs> so you know, it's it's hard to call him wrong for scoring there. I mean, it wasn't easy for him at all. But yeah, maybe he, maybe he should have tried to stall for sure. I think he should have tried. Of course, of course, I think he should have tried because he ended up he ended up uh, getting banged on, didn't he? This was quite fun, just because he was bad. If he hadn't been as bad as this, I would, I would have got fucking dicked on. <laughs> the three chaos that didn't come back. And then another three. End of the match with about three... Two, two people standing. But, um... Luckily, he wasn't very good at Blood Bowl. With a terrible team. First half was really bad though, wasn't it? First half was like, you could call it a dice in the first half. Um, a, apart from the fact his wizard didn't do very much, but I don't think it was a great decision from his wizard. Yeah, exactly, Sophie, yeah. And it's it's always gonna be better to do the GFIs, especially if they've got a reroll. It just, it just feels wrong because people are so conditioned against risk, aren't they, in Blood Bowl? That's the thing. People are just conditioned against going for it and stuff. Exactly, yeah, especially. I mean, with Berserk, he, he was always going to make the right play, wasn't he? That's the thing. With this guy, might not make the right play. Um, whereas in the Rebel one, you, I knew Berserk was going to make the right play. So, it's a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah, the wizard was close from being awesome, yeah. 
or the ball carry. He could have got the ball carry, and I'd have been in a lot of trouble. I mean, I did. Yeah, I was lucky with the. I was lucky with the wizard effect. Um, but it was a very, it was a very dice rolly wizard effect, wasn't it? You know, it wasn't. It wasn't a particularly great wizard, shall we say? It wasn't a really a bad one, but he was. It was a. It was a hopeful one, wasn't it? It was a hopeful one for sure. You needed you needed to get a few knockdowns from it. Well, it's it's not always incesticide because there was one in um in the Rebel playoffs, funnily enough, where there was a guy and he had he had a ball carry here and he had three players around him and if any of them got knocked over it was 2D on the ball. So in that case it's not hope is it because then you're looking at 50, 75, 87 and a half, 96 percent to knock over one of them instead of 83 to knock over the ball. So in that situation it wasn't like that. I could do a handoff here. Oh no I'm on 27. And off, okay, I'm winning one nail, doesn't matter, does it? Hey. Spoilers, no, that was that was last season epiphany. That was last season's playoffs. No, no, it's definitely not. No, in that specific case, it's way better to fireball because there were there was four and every one gave two D on the ball, like with tackle or whatever. So that was one way that was one case where it was way, way better to fireball. Um, because you're looking at a 90 odd percent chance to knock anybody down and you're still 50-50 to knock down the, ca the carrier aren't you and then you've got a chance of knocking down two and everything so I think the way I look at it as I mean that in that particular case there was four which made it an incredible fireball alright in my match in my, wait a minute um, yeah alright in this okay Beth but in that specific case of my match yesterday Today, yeah, maybe he should have fired. I, I just don't think it was a great, great fireball, honestly. I, I, I was trying to, uh, I was trying to tempt the fireball because I thought it wasn't that good a fireball. And yeah, Jim, Jimmy's example, yeah, incesticide. Talking about my example, no, no. In that example, it's way better to fireball. But you know, if because there was four of them, but if there's three of them, if there's three of them, if there's three players. And if you knock down any of them, you get two dice on the ball. That's when I think it's better than a fireball. Uh, that's when I think a fireball is better than a lightning ball. Because there could be other players as well. But if there's three specific players, that if you knock down any of those, you get two dice on the ball. Or the ball, obviously. The ball is always going to be one of them. So imagine three players stood here. Um, well, imagine these three. If you, if you can fireball... No, no, okay. We've got to do it with pretend players. If there's three players there. Then to knock down one of them is 87 and a half, isn't it? And if and a, and a lightning bolt is 83 and a third. So, um, is it 83 and a third? I think it's 83 and a third. So in that specific case, if there being, you, you need to have any one of three gives you 2D on the ball, straight up, is, is the way I look at it. Um, and then there's obviously the chance of getting lucky and knocking the ball and somebody over. And so I think that's when that's when it's definitely worth it when there's th any one of three, and it wasn't any one of three when he did that fireball. He got two out of five. He stunned two out of five, but he he needed to knock down specific ones if he didn't knock down the ball, which I made. I thought it wasn't such a good fireball, um, but obviously it was value in terms of the players he was hitting, and just making a mess of my drive. You know, obviously <laughs> knocking them over didn't make the drive harder and everything. Link your YouTube for this guy. Oh, thanks, I'm too new for you. I don't know how I'd do it. I need, um... It would add the next, extra dice rolls, yes, of course. But, you know, if he, I'm, I'm still happy with two dice on the ball. Like, if I've got tackle in it. It's different if he's a blodger and you haven't got tackle and stuff. But if you've got block and tackle and they've got dodge, and, like, you, you're still, like, 80% to get him down, aren't you? So... Um... <laughs> 
Thank you for the bids. No, I, I don't know how. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do it in in chat. That's the thing. I need. I need a copy paste. I need. I'm, I'll ask. I'll ask in my Discord somebody to do a nice copy paste for me to do when I start a match. That's a good idea, isn't it? Because I need to do something that isn't condescending that I post when I'm beating somebody <laughs> or someone's terrible, and then you know, it's, I need to just. Uh, I just need to do. Do that. But yeah, yeah. The fireball can still be good just because it wrecks their drive. In that in that case, he was hitting five guys. If he knocks down two or three, if he makes a removal, if he makes stuns, he, he was mangling my drive, wasn't he? So it wasn't. It really wasn't a terrible fireball, but it just wasn't a good turn me over fireball, was it? It was a. It was a maybe stop the score fireball. It wasn't a turn this guy over and score on his drive fireball that was the thing whereas if he'd saved it for the second half maybe he could have got that you know um so you just don't know do you i mean you don't know and i would have had to play around the wizard for longer and stuff so it's 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 really hard to call whether a wizard good or bad i think or a fireball good or bad even because there's always the threat of not using it and stuff. There's always the chance of a bolt failing, isn't there? So it's uh, it's not easy. You certainly can't analyse things from the actual results. You can only analyse it from probabilities of everything, don't you? And I think he wasn't gonna he wasn't gonna count the score when he used the wizard in that game. That was the key thing. At the time that he used the wizard, he definitely wasn't gonna count the score. Oh, she got MVP after handing it off. Perfect. Four AV breaks to 21. <laughs> um, he did make, to be fair, three times as many blocks. <laughs> so, I just don't think he would have done, no. I mean, he had enough time, but I just don't think he would have done, because I still had other players and stuff to react. He didn't. They weren't near enough to react well enough. Yeah, 69. The, his players weren't close enough to react well enough. There you go. Mighty blow. Sack number 12. And there you go. There's an Amazon team looking good. Um, ish. Good-ish. He still needs a cast to level up. He needs an MVP. They all need completions or touchdowns and shit. Nah, tackle, tackle can wait. Tackle can wait. We'll just lose to people with dodge. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> just roll pals. Tackle's overrated. <laughs> right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.